Helium is an interesting element with a wide variety of uses. While many of them are useful, we're not going to talk about any of those. Instead, we're going to talk about why it makes your voice do this. Helium is a colorless, odorless gas that, like I said in the intro, has a wide variety of uses. However, since my brain is practically a baked potato, I am mostly interested in how it makes your voice sound funny. To begin, we need to talk about how humans normally produce sound. Human speech is complex, way too complex to cover in a two minute video, but the basics you need to know are that we have vocal cords, or vocal folds, that we use to communicate. Vocal cords are throat tissues that vibrate in our throats in order to produce sound. These vibrations, of course, produce sound waves. I am producing sound waves right now narrating this, and you are producing sound waves every time you talk. When you inhale helium, however, those sound waves exit your throat almost three times faster than they would with just oxygen. Now, if you want to make your voice sound like this in an audio software, you'd pitch it up. With helium, however, your voice is not actually changing its pitch. In fact, your vocal cords are vibrating exactly the same. What changes is the natural frequency of your throat. With helium, your throat resonates higher tones stronger than lower tones, which is thanks to helium being lighter than oxygen. Lighter equals a higher tone, which is why if you inhaled sulfur hexafluoride, you'd get the opposite effect, since it is heavier than oxygen. It would change your natural frequency to make lower tones stronger. Of course, once the gases leave your throat, your voice goes back to normal because it's once again taking in normal old oxygen. Is there any risk to inhaling helium or sulfur hexafluoride? Well, yes. If you do this, your lungs will explode on the spot, making little Timmy's birthday party a little more memorable. Not nah, just kidding. It's safe in normal amounts, but both gases restrict oxygen entering the lungs, so if you inhale too much of either, you may not get enough oxygen and you'll, uh, unalive yourself. Anyways, hopefully you found this video interesting. Until next time, take care.